What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to learn some advanced synonyms for commonly overused adjectives, such as happy, sad, angry, big or small. So instead of using a simple A1, A2 word, you can stand out and use a fancier alternative in your speaking and writing exams. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's kick off! So the first adjective on my list today is happy. We use happy all the time. So let's look at some more advanced synonyms for happy. For example, we could say delighted, which means very pleased. For example, I'm delighted with my presence. Another option is elated. It means extremely happy, usually because something good has happened or you have achieved something important. For example, I was elated when I crossed the finish line. Another synonym is blissful. An example sentence, I had a blissful holiday in Havia last August. Another adjective we could use is overjoyed. For example, my friend was overjoyed to see Viggo Mortensen in person. Another alternative is thrilled, which means very excited. For example, I'm thrilled that you're coming with me to the party. And one more option, content, which means happy and satisfied with what you have. For example, I'm content with my job. And now we're going to look at some expressions that you can use to express happiness. For example, we can say to be over the moon. Or another expression is to be on cloud nine. More expressions, we could say to be in seventh heaven or to be on top of the world. Another possibility is to say to be like a dog with two tails or to be thrilled to bits. And two more British expressions, to be as happy as Larry or to be full of the joys of spring. Now let's move on to our second adjective, which we use over and over again, which is sad. So let's look at more options, fancier and more advanced adjectives. So for example, instead of saying sad, we could use miserable, which means very sad. An example sentence, she's been feeling miserable lately. Another option is to say blue, exactly the same as the color blue. An example sentence, she's been blue since the breakup. Another alternative is gloomy. And one more possibility is down. For example, I'm feeling a little bit down today. And two more adjectives that we could use instead of sad, we could say got it which means extremely sad and disappointed. Or another option is to say upset, which means unhappy and disappointed because something negative or unpleasant has happened. And now I want to give you three adjectives that we can use to describe someone who is crying or is about to cry. So the adjectives are tearful, weepy, or close to tears. Now let's move on to our third adjective, which is big. So let's look at other alternatives to replace this adjective. You can always use large and it sounds more advanced. Other options, we can say huge or enormous or hefty. 
For example, he had to pay a hefty fine. Another adjective that we could use instead of big is massive. For example, it was a massive mistake. Another option is substantial. Substantial. For example, he makes a substantial amount of money. And one more option, resounding, it must be followed by a noun. For example, the movie is a resounding success. Let's continue number four, small. So let's look at more sophisticated adjectives. The first option is tiny, which means very small. For example, could you do me a tiny favor? And we could also say teeny tiny, teeny tiny. More adjectives, minute. The stress goes at the end and it's long O, minute. Be careful with the pronunciation, it's not minute, but minute. Another option is miniature and it must be followed by a noun. For example, she's bought a miniature car. And one more adjective, cramped, which means not having enough space or time. For example, he has a cramped apartment. Let's move on to our adjective number five, which is nervous. So what other options do we have? We could say tense or anxious or maybe on edge. For example, I'm a bit on edge today. And one more option, apprehensive, which means nervous about something that will happen or might happen in the future. An example sentence, she's apprehensive about her upcoming exam. And guys, before we continue with our lesson and look at five more adjectives, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your notification is turned on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. Thank you. And now let's continue with our lesson. Our adjective number six is angry. We use angry a lot. I'm angry. So let's look at more advanced and more sophisticated ways to express the same idea, the same feeling. For example, we could say irate, which means very angry. For example, you could say the client was irate. The stress goes at the end, irate. Another adjective is furious. Furious, like the film, fast and furious. Another one is cross, cross. Another alternative is seething, seething. It means extremely angry, but unable or unwilling to express it clearly. For example, she didn't say anything, but she looked seething. Another adjective is heated. For example, it can be a heated argument or a heated debate. An example sentence, they had a heated argument. And last but not least, a funny adjective, berserk. Berserk. And it's used with the verb to go. To go berserk. An example sentence, he went berserk when he heard the news. Let's move on to our adjective number seven. Actually, I've got two, hard and difficult. We use them a lot. So let's look at more advanced synonyms for these two adjectives. For example, we could say tough. The exam was tough. Another option is challenging. For example, the new project is challenging. Another alternative is demanding. An example sentence, her boss is demanding. Another option is testing. For example, 
it's been a testing year for a lot of people. Tomorrow to go, arduous, arduous. An example sentence, it was an arduous climb. And lastly, grueling, grueling. It means extremely tiring and difficult. An example sentence, it's been a grueling day. Let's continue. Our adjective number eight is interesting. We use interesting a lot as well. So let's look at some synonyms for interesting. Firstly, we can say engaging. An example sentence, her classes are engaging. Her classes are interesting. Another way, engaging. Another option is compelling. For example, it's a compelling documentary. Another synonym is grouping. It means so interesting that it holds your attention completely. An example sentence, the movie is so grouping. So if you have to write a review about a movie, you could use grouping instead of interesting, which is much more advanced. Another adjective that you could use is absorbing, absorbing. And I'm gonna give you a noun, a page turner. And you can use it to describe a book that you want to read quickly because it's very interesting. For example, the book is a real page turner. Tomorrow to go, number nine, intelligent. So let's look at some synonyms for intelligent. So the first one is knowledgeable. It's advanced. And if you take, for example, the CAE or CPE exams, instead of saying he's intelligent, for example, you could say he's knowledgeable. We can also say smart, clever, bright, brainy, sharp, or brilliant. So there are lots of adjectives, lots of synonyms for intelligent. And now I'd like to give you two nouns that you could use to describe someone who is very intelligent. The first one is a whisket. It's a young person who is very clever and successful. Another noun we could use is prodigy. An example sentence, Hauser is a cello prodigy. And to finish with intelligent, I want to give you a very interesting expression to be quick on the uptake. We use it to describe people who understand things easily. An example sentence, Tom is quick on the uptake. And last but not least, the adjective perfect. Let's look at seven synonyms for perfect. The first one, you can say flawless. An example sentence, your essay is flawless. Another option is impeccable. For example, she has impeccable manners. Another synonym is immaculate. An example sentence, he gave an immaculate presentation. We could also say ideal. An example sentence, this holiday destination is ideal for you. Another adjective, picture perfect. Yeah, it's a bit funny, picture perfect. For example, it's a picture perfect town. Tomorrow to go, number six, textbook. It must be followed by a noun. For example, he gave a textbook speech. And the last adjective is British and it's inch perfect. For example, the joiner made the doors fit inch perfect. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit. If you found this kind of lesson useful, please let me know in the comments below so that I can make more videos on synonyms for adjectives or nouns, verbs, etc. And of course, if you liked this lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up 
to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram and do my daily quiz. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!